Ah, ah, This is uh, obviously to do with the uh, uh, intercooler. It was obviously uh, broken. So one more 
troublesome uh, bolt to get at. Actually, shouldn't be too bad. Just on the other side down here, the manifold, exhaust manifold. Got one more bolt there to get rid of. So what we're talking about is sitting just down there. Which you can just see the, the two that I've taken off, and the third one is sitting in behind. So I'll try and come in through that hole on the top. the nut through here turning. It's starting to get awkward because of the, uh, the socket getting in the way. It's too cramped. Didn't get in there any other way really. Oh yeah, yeah. Rotate with my finger. Is that loose? Gotta watch when it comes off. It's flying in the back of the engine or something. Theoretically, the head should come off now. Oh, look at that. Seems to have done the job. Yep, it's all out. This side. Yep, okay, so. I don't know where the oh, bloody water's pissing everywhere. We should have sunk this got the water first. Damn. Hindsight, great thing. I'll do that now. Alrighty, I'll attempt to get it from there onto that. On the edge, so that's obviously where the water was. The water's got in, which means it's the third piston back. Nothing like that there. See that? You can still see the actual scrape of the uh, marks. These are doing really well. These bores. Bit of a lip. Not too bad. So I'd say that's the guilty culprit right there. Let's have a look under the head. Okay, the head. So. Based on what we saw, the rust marks, that's the um, piston of issues apparently. It's hard to tell. I mean, there is, there is um, you know, coolant up in the valve, so I, I don't know how it works. Maybe it's just leaking in through there. I don't know how, it's kind of odd for the, yeah, maybe the, when it gets a crack in the head, it comes in via the valve, quite possibly. Which makes sense why it runs for a while, but if you happen to park with the valve open, the water just pours in. Another gasket. Oh, I don't know. This is pretty much a metal gasket, which certainly nothing obviously blown as far as that goes. Okay. Okay, so it was a bizarre one. I took the sump plug out and I actually was debating whether I'd actually come out of the right and done the right hole because it, uh, it was pure green, not a touch of oil. There was that much uh, fluid, uh, normal coolant fluid in there. I was quite blown away, but probably three or four, five, three to five seconds, I reckon, of it just pouring out without any oil. And then once that finished, then the oil came out. So I'll just um, see, we'll see what we can see here from that. So the car was probably sitting three to four weeks 
um, after it wouldn't start because of the water in the piston. So it looks like the actual coolant sits on the bottom because it still looks like there's normal oil here, which I expect this will change very shortly. Now it's going green. Now it looks like it's mixed a bit, but yeah, it was uh, pure green. There was not a touch of oil in it in the first lot. You can see it on the top there now. Done. Thanks, Tim.